Years ago, why missing crushed the Ironmen from Danville 44 to 14. Horrible way to end the season after winning their third straight district title. Now Danville has a chance for some playoff revenge two years later and a chance to advance to the state semifinals. Here come the Ironmen. They said they're a better and more experienced football team this time around trying to knock off the powerhouse while missing. But they're down 21 to 6 at the half, so the comeback needs to start with defense. And you draw it up and they shut it down. Look at them getting the stop there right on the goal line. Later in the third quarter, Zach Gordon, the toss there connecting with Cameron Kirsch, and it's 21 to 12. The Ironmen are down and then how about some more defense Kirsch coming through for the sack they said wild missing was physical but Danville providing some physicality too and then a few plays later Zach Gordon up top take it to him that's a first down setting up this right here another touchdown and just like that Danville cuts the lead to 21 to 19 under two minutes to go, Why missing punting, and Danville gets a hand on the punt. Special teams coming through. It's deflected. Danville in position at midfield, and so Gordon with the keeper. He doesn't want his senior season to end like this. Down to the 15-yard line. So with 7.7 .7 seconds left, Aaron Johnson comes out for the 34-yard field goal. Ah, oh, just off the mark. Danville a dramatic second-half comeback, but they come up just short. Mike Brennan proud of how his team came back to lose. 21-19. I'm so proud of this group of kids. They're outstanding. Um, you know, we had a whole community behind us. Um, but the way they played football, the way they competed, the way they came back in the second half and, and made plays and, and had an opportunity to win the football game, I'm so proud of them. We have nothing to be ashamed of, and we're going to walk up those steps. And uh, these seniors have left us a legacy. It's unfortunate we're not going to play next week, but um, I love these guys. I love what they've done for the program. I love what they've done for the Danville community.